वेलकम टू एच डी एफ सी सिक्योरिटीज फाइव मिनट मार्केट रैप अप योर वीकली रिकैप ऑफ मार्केट फॉर द वीक हायर फॉर लॉन्गर दैट वॉज द थीम फॉर दिस वीक यू एस फेडरल रिजर्व मीटिंग इवन दो इट कैट रेट अनचेंज द डॉट प्लॉट इंडिकेटेड दैट देर इज लाइकली टू बी वन मोर रेक हाइक इन कैलेंडर ईयर ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी थ्री इट ऑल्सो इंडिकेटेड दैट देर वुड down from an earlier estimate of four cuts bank of england held rates unchanged at 5.25% for the first time since november 2021 amid signs that inflation is cooling bank of england had raised rates for 14 consecutive meetings uk cpi fell to 6.7% by oy in august 23 from 6.8% in july 23 marking the lowest rate since feb 2022 core cpi slumped to 6.2% in august from 6.9% in july 23 eurozone cpi grew by 5.2% yoy in august 23 down from 5.3% in july 23 core cpi rose by 5.3% yoy compared to 5.5% in july 23 US 10 year bond yields neared 4.5% and up around 70 basis points in the last 3 months. This is the highest level since 2007. Nifty witnessed a sharp correction during the week in line with global markets. It ended 518 points lower or around 2.6%. Mid and small cap indices fared better than the large caps, ending the week lower by 1.7% and 2% respectively. The mid and small cap indices are still up around 3.5% from a month ago. Among sectoral gainers, the PSU Bank Index continued its strong momentum of the past few weeks to end up higher by 3.35%. Among sectoral losers, index heavyweight Bank Nifty corrected by 3.5%, led by a decline in the private bank index of 4.1%. Nifty Realty, Metals and Pharma were the other sectoral losers. In select market movers, Indian Overseas Bank rallied by 23% during the week after some bulk deals in the counter. Union Bank of India was the other PSU bank to lead the rally in the PSU Bank Index. REC shares were up 6% during the week after the management said that they intended to tackle stressed assets worth rupees 7000 crores. Shares of Supreme Industries were down 7.7% on account of profit booking FIIs continued to be net sellers taking their month till date net cash sales to more than rupees 18000 crores DIIs continued to be net buyers with month till date purchases of more than rupees 12000 crores of equities in cash US markets also corrected sharply with the S&P 500 down 2.9% and the Nasdaq down by 3.6% this week in this section we discuss select reports published by the institutional equities team of hdfc securities dabur aims to achieve double digit growth over the medium term unlike the 7% 10-year cagr they achieved dabur is also looking to recoup its 20% ebitda margin if the company can achieve the above it would justify our re-rating argument we have a ad rating on the stock with a target price of 650 rupees per share Hero Motor Corp's motorcycle market share further slipped by 380 basis points to 44.5% this was good. This despite multiple launches like Passion Plus, New Glamour, X440 and Charisma. While valuations remain inexpensive, we reiterate our reduce rating with a target price of rupees 2672 per share, valuing the company at 14x June 25 EPS. In the tiles segment we interacted with the management of Orient Bell they highlighted that the domestic demand remains muted in Q2 broadly in line with Q1 but demand is expected to firm up LNG prices have rebounded a little bit in August but remain lower on a QOQ and a YOY basis that is all for this week please do refer to the detailed disclaimer in the video Please note that the information shared in the video is for educational purpose only. Thank you.